What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about route parameters in Angular. So route parameters are what you see at the end of URLs in the form of numbers. Sometimes they can come in the form of strings or GUIDs. A lot of times you see GUIDs and what is happening is that this number is being passed back to the server. So when the page loads, this number will go, um, in, this, in our case, we're, our URL is gonna be Pokemon and we're gonna take this four and we are going to pass it back into our code behind and it's going to take the place of this three right here and we'll be able to send it back to the server to get that specific Pokemon. That's another reason that route parameters exist is so that we can get the detail page for the Pokemon. Usually the um, root or the when there's not a four here, so when there's no four here, what's gonna happen is you will be displayed like a list or you'll be d displayed like a feed and the four will be when you click to actually go to the specific Pokemon and get that specific record. And what we're gonna have to do first is we're going to take our Pokemon forms and we're going to put it within our Pokemon base module. And it will do pretty much everything for you in VS Code. You really don't have to mess with it too much. And it just make sure to put it within this base module right here. Um, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the Pokemon forms component right here because it's not going to be in our root anymore. And we need to bring in our routes into the Pokemon base module. And our routes are going to look like this. So we're going to have routes. It's going to have type of routes and it's going to be an array. And first it will have a path of just an empty string and we will have children with an array of paths. And what this is going to do, um, make it so that our routes don't become so redundant. You technically, you don't really even need children, but if you... <laughs> If you don't have them, your routes, full, your all those routes in that array are going to look unsightly. And if your website's big enough, it's going to probably not fit in there. So that's what that's for. Next thing, we're going to have a colon ID. And that's what this is right here. So when you pass in the ID, that's the number. And I will show you how we also add the word Pokemon as well too. That's coming up here in just a second. So we're gonna go here, go component. It's gonna be Pokemon forms component. And we need to bring in the routes. The next thing that you do need to do and pay extra close attention is first we need to bring in this Pokemon forms. Okay, then next thing is we need to actually bring in, uh, we need to bring in forms module because now we have that forms and we also need to bring in the router module. We need to pass it for child because this is a child, this is a child route, this is a uh, feature module and we're gonna pass in those routes that we just made also, the last thing is we need to hook up the in the app routing module. We need to let this route know that there are child routes. Otherwise, it will not work. So what we need to do is come, come down here and going to have path. And this is what's going to give us the Pokemon um, lettering right here for our URL. That's what's gonna allow us to have that. Then we're going to go over here, kind of a weird, odd, strange looking um, syntax right here, but it's just kind of is what it is. Um, you go into here and we need to bring in our base.module and then we need to chain on a then 
and get the class out of it as well too. So we're gonna go M dot Pokemon base module and need to put a comma right there and that should be it. I'm just gonna fire it up, see if it works. Also, make sure that you have the uh, DB, JSON DB server running. Okay, and looks like it booted up. The only thing that was wrong was I didn't save the Pokemon uh, TypeScript file. So, let's go ahead into here. And let's see if this works. Oh, yes, first try. Okay, that is the, vi oh, wait a second. We still have to do, I um, almost forgot. We have to actually go back here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into the forms component and we need to actually hook up the code that's going to take this three and put it into the get Pokemon subscribe function down here right here we need to take that and we need to give it that three that's going to be passed into that url so what do we need to do we need to bring in um, router and we also need to bring in activated route an activated route is what's going to do most of the heavy lifting in this case activated route and I'm gonna bring this down here so it looks a little bit better. So bring that down there, bring that, bring that over here. Okay, and now I am going to get the route param. So I'm gonna go this dot route dot params dot subscribe and gonna get back params. Okay, then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to actually just put it inside of here so that when this fires off, because this is asynchronous, I don't have to worry about how the code gets executed or doing any type of null check. It will just fire when it has data and I don't have to worry about checking it or anything. Then I'm going to go down here and going to go void and going to use the router that I brought in and I'm going to navigate back to Pokemon. Okay, and now I'm going to go test it to see if it actually works. Okay, bring in Pikachu and our uh, detail works. So now what we need to do is Let's go in and add the back button and let's add the button so that we can actually look for the details. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're going to go into the HTML and just add this above here. And this is gonna be a router link. So we're gonna go router link. And within our router link, we're going to have an array and it's going to go to Pokemon, and in order to pass in the actual Pokemon that we have, this is nifty. You just pass in the detail.id and call it details. And then for the button to go back, we just go to the actual forms component and just put a the back function that we actually that we made previously before that and I'm trying to find it so it's going to be 33 so right here so save and right after save we'll just have a nice little button call it type button we'll have click and we'll have our function right here so that when this event fires, the function will go off and we'll have back right here. Okay, and I'm thinking that this is working. So gonna go back to home, go back to our Pokemon 
and go to details. Our details is working. And let's go back. Our go back is working. Everything is looking good. We are good to go. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.